power x this time around can be written as log 1 over x log of a base b we also have another one that states that when you have log of a log of 1 base a it is 0 log of 1 is 0 or log of 1 and no nothing is really at the base here and it should be noted at this junction that when you have a, a log and nothing is written as, as, at the base it is a standard log and it is what? to base 10 these are the laws that are bound as far as log reading is concerned also let's talk about sorts because this is another topic that is also of significance as far as this aspect of mathematics is concerned. Also, in salt, we have loss guiding salt. But firstly, it should be noted that square root of a, if you have two parameters or two constants, square root of a. Square root of a plus b is never equals to square root of a plus square root of b. That is one. You should, this one you should note this. Two, it should also be noted that square root of a minus b is never equals to square root of a minus square root of b. Now, it should be noted that square root of a times b can be written as square root of a times square root of b. Then four to one, you have square root of a divided by b is also the same as square root of a over square root of b, and so on and so forth. That's what they call rationalization, which is of importance also, rationalization. And those involving Conjugates. So if you are given a sort of this kind to rationalize, all we need to do is to look at the base. The base is square root of b. So we pick a fraction of that, which will be square root of b over square root of b. Then we go to our expression a over root b times we multiply it by what you have. If you are doing this, then you see you are rationalizing this particular sort. And the answer will definitely be a root b over root b times root b, which is a root b over root b squared. And what is root b squared? That is b. So this one will be a root b, a root b over b. So this is the rationalized form of this expression. Having discussed indices, logarithms, and sorts, candidates should be able to apply the laws of indices in calculation. Two, establish the relationship between indices and logarithm in solving problems. These are the objectives then solve problems in different bases in logarithms. Also, simplify and rationalize sorts. Then lastly, perform basic operations in sorts. Due to any questions on indices, logarithm, and sort, the commonly tested UTM questions till date are in figure 1.2a below. I can bet it with you at the end of these three 
topics, that is indices, logarithm, and sorts. Going by the 40 questions, I can bet it with you that there will be no question that you will not be able to solve as far as the UTME is concerned. So you are to pay attention and get the intricacy of the way to go about solving these questions in the shortest time possible. These are the questions under sorts, log reading, and indices. There are 40 questions designed for these three topics, indices, log reading, and sorts. Under these three topics, we have the first five questions, which are, this one was tested in Jan 1978, question number 38. This one, Jan 79, that's 1979, question number 19. Then, this one was tested Jan 1979, question number 33. This one was tested Jan 29, question number eh, 79, rather, 1979, question number 30. Then this one, Jan 1979, question number 49. You can see that these questions are UTME questions. And you need to be attentive here so that you can see the easiest way of approaching these questions without making mistakes and in the possible shortest time. The first one says that if 25 raised to power x minus 1 equals to 64 multiplied by 5 over 2 or raised to power 6, we should find x. So we are given 2, 5 raised to power x minus 1 equals to 64 into 5 over 6 over 2 rather raised to power 6. So this is our first question, and the question has to be for x. Now in this situation, the first thing we do here is we know that this is 2 25 raised to power x minus 1. Then we have 64. Meaning this by law of indices, that is why. I said earlier that we need to recall all the laws of indices, logarithm and sort, often to be able to survive in this aspect. So we know that this 6 can distribute over this fraction. We have 5 raised to power 6 divided by 2 raised to power 6. That's what it means. So in doing so, I can write this as 25 raised to power x minus 1 equals to 64. 5 raised to power 6 and we know that 2 raised to power 6 is 64. So I can write this one by opening this bracket. I have 2, 5, x minus 1 equals to 64 times 5 raised to power 6 over 64. Then this 64 can cancel this 64. Then I'll have 2, 5 raised to power x minus 1 equals to 5 raised to power 6. Then, in this situation, I know that this one is in base 5. I can convert this one also to base 5 because I know that 25 is definitely 5 times 5, which is 5 raised to power 2. So I can put it here and say, I can say 5 raised to power 2 affected by x minus 1 equals to 5 then I open this bracket, I have 5 raised to power 2 times x, 2x, and 2 times minus 1, minus 2, equals to 5 raised to power 6. So equating the base, equating the base, equating the base here. So if I equate this base, I'll have 2x minus 2 equals to 6. Then I have 2x equals to 6 plus 2. Then I have 2x equals to 8. Then in this situation, I'm looking for my x. I divide both sides by 2. By dividing both sides by 2, I will definitely have 
x to be equal to 4. So my x is 4. So I'll go to my option and look for where I have x to be equal to 4. So it is option B. So we just click on that option B. And that has been solved. Then the second question says, simplify this. That's 5 raised per x times 25 raised per x minus 1 divided by 125 x minus 1. If we are to solve this question, also, we have 5 raised to power x times 25 raised to power x minus 1 divided by 125 raised to power x minus 1. In this situation, we have 5 raised to power x times, I can also write this one as 5 raised to power 2 because 25 is 5 raised to power 2, then I put x minus 1 here. Over this one is 5 raised to power what? That's 5 raised to power. So 5 times 5, that's 25. 25 times 5, that's 5 raised to power 3. So I have this into x minus 1. Then in this situation, if I simplify this further, I will have 5x, then this one will become times 5, 2 times this, 2x minus 2 over 5, 3 times this, 3x, 3 times this, minus 3. This is what I'm going to have. Then, in this situation, I will now have Law by law of indices, when you have a common base and there is a multiplication sign, that is the first law of indices. The same base and the multiplication sign will add their index. You write one of the base and add the index. So x plus 2x minus 2. That's what the law is saying over 5, 3x minus 3. Then, if I still move further, I will have.